Hey guys, how to create a podcast? I'm sitting here with my brother, so hopefully he's gonna he's gonna say something in the middle of this because he's never made a podcast before, right, Mike? Okay. <laughs> how I make a podcast in great detail. All right, let's gonna let's walk through the main steps. You're gonna record something. You're gonna upload it. You're gonna create an RSS feed, and a little bit of a bonus is you put it in FeedBurner, and then submit all of that to iTunes. Any comments, Mike? Just let me wait. Let me burn some time. Burn some time. <laughs> What's an RSS feed? What's an RSS feed? Um, it's, it's so that whenever your website updates, you get something. Like whenever your website updates, um, if you have an RSS feed client. You're having some troubles. I am having some troubles. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Exporting and metadata. Let's start with exporting. Let's just say you're in a garage band and you want to export. Export it in mono and export it with a bit rate of 64 kilobits per second because you sound better at 64 kilobits per second. And you want to add metadata through iTunes and you want to add something in the comments. So the show notes, put that in the comments. And you want to create some sort of artwork and put that in the metadata. And what I use is MP3 Encoder by Mark V. Apps. What do you want to say, Mike? I don't think the bit rates changes how good your voice sounds. How good my voice? <laughs> Are you saying my voice sounds like crap? <laughs> That's why you're implying. So it's not. It, my voice sounds good. No. No. <laughs> Moving closer to the microphone so that people can hear your <laughs> your negative responses. No. You're good? Okay. <laughs> so here's a video that I can't stop playing and uh, kind of a, a, pay, a play by play. And what I do is yeah, you, edit the, you edit the metadata and you make sure that you put your show notes in the comments or the lyrics section and you add your artwork. Make sure it's 600 by 600 pixels. What do you think of my desktop background, Mike? Nah. Nah? <laughs> And then you want to pick your, your methods, um, constant bit rate or variable bit rate. I put in constant bit rate here, 64 kilobits per second because it makes my voice sound better. Those guys and, don't even know what that means. And put it on stereo or mono. Well, you know what? When, when they export the video or when they export <laughs> their... Playing along here. When they export their... I know I'm missing out. I know, but you asked the question. When they export their podcast, they're going to ask like, oh, what do these buttons do? Which one is the best? I don't care. So now they'll pick 60. You don't care anymore. <laughs> We're going to now upload whatever we just have and we're going to upload that media and we're going to save the link from archive.org. So here we go. Here's archive.org. We're going to go to the upload button on the top right and we're going to hit the share button. We're going we're gonna to select the podcast. We're going to put a title, description, keyword, all that stuff. Now here's the... Here's the part where a lot of people might get confused is what type of license do you want? I put it at non-commercial and you have to, you can use it as long as you attribute it. And now, oh, he, here's an important part. Make sure that up here is complete before you hit share, share file. This usually takes some time and you click that link and here is the audio link that I'm talking about. Right there, VBR MP3. Um, I'm actually talking faster than, than I was acting. So here we go. VBR MP3, you're going to copy that link. And then you're going to put that into Blogger. So what do we do with Blogger? We're going to set it up first. We're going to save a, you know, put, the, put our blog in FeedBurner, and then we're going to create a post. I don't actually do it in that order, but that's generally what's going to happen here. So we have a Blogger. Freshly created, check it out, I got 16 views and I just created it. We're gonna go to the old blogger section. We're gonna to go to, edit, or not edit post, settings. Scroll down. That's, oh, formatting, I made this mistake again. <laughs> go to formatting, scroll down. Go to show link fields, hit yes. And then go back to your blog, create a blog post. Give it whatever title you want. The title is the name of your episode. Put in the link from archive.org and make sure this M-I-M-E type is uh, an audio type. So I click away from that, from the URL box and it automatically detects what type it is. And I type something, the author of the podcast is name, the name of the blog. So right now, my na the name of my blog is John Mercenary Podcast and that is gonna be the author for the podcast. 
So we're going to hit publish, I think. And then here's the next slide of me putting it in FeedBurner. So we're going to view my post. I already added an image file there earlier. We're going to go to subscribe that, that section there. Find your RSS feed. There are many ways to do this. Find your RSS feed. And in this case, it opens up Reader, which is my feed of choice. And add the feed here. This is the feed burner feed. And make sure to click I am a podcaster, hit next, and go through those steps. In this case, I already did it before, so I'm not going to do it again. So here is your RSS feed from FeedBurner. And as you can see, there is a sample podcast. And when you hit play now, you can hear my excellent music. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> I think it's I think it's on B. I made it using GarageBand and you drag and drop stuff. I think these guys are just as bored as I am. As bored as you are. Well, we better hurry up and add, and add it to iTunes. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an account and hopefully you already have an account. I'm not going to go through the process of that. And we're going to submit the podcast. So here we go. In FeedBurner, we're going to copy the URL because this is the FeedBurner URL. And before we submit it to iTunes, we're going to hit Advanced, Subscribe to Podcast, and we're going to do a little test to make sure that your podcast does exist. So here it is. We test it, and it does exist, and I'm going to play my music again because it's so good. So good. <laughs> 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 I was admiring my pod. I was admiring my music. So now we go to the iTunes store with the Beebs, and we're gonna hit podcast. On the right hand side, there's a submit a podcast button. We're gonna hit submit a podcast, and then paste in the feed burner feed right there. And then we're gonna hit continue, and it goes on from there. Any questions, Mike? You should have said bam when you pasted it. Bam! Oh, I should have gone earlier. Yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on. I can do this. Like Here we go. Here we go. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that didn't work out. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Hopefully that helps you out. And uh, any any parting words, Mike? Hopefully they stayed this long. Hopefully they watched this long. Yeah. If you watched this long, go in the comment and say what in the comment. If you listen this long. I've got nothing to say. Say, I've got nothing to say in comment. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> you could have been more lively, Mike. I could have. <laughs> good enough. Good enough.